so what's up guys i'm match from tech mesh and hope you're doing well so today i have come up with a new video and the video is about how you can record your pc your google meeting or your zoom meeting so recently i have noticed that google has turned off the recording option for some institutional email for my institution it happened that they turned off the recording option in google meet and so i think that many of you are facing the same problem especially for teachers or students who you are used to in the virtual classroom in these recent scenarios or anyone who attended any types of online meetings that needed to be recorded this video will help all of you so i have selected a free software by which you can record your google meetings easily and completely freely so let me demonstrate the software so the software name is freecam so just let me show you that how you can download the software they did not sponsor me or anything i personally use their software and that's why i am giving my complete honest opinion okay so the you need to go to this link freecam's official website and they have two options the a free one and also a paid version so I think for most of you guys, the free one would be absolutely fine. So just let me show you that what the free one offers, then you can decide. And obviously there are also alternative methods to free cam. This is not the only option, but I have selected this free cam because like it is really simple, simplified version. So for most of you guys who are teacher or student, if you find difficult to your programs, then I think that this might help. Okay so just let me show you that here you can see that you can obviously select the recording area in both the free and pro version and also you can record your microphone and also system sound maybe you are a student so you want to record your microphone as well as your teacher's voice that is coming through the system sound or vice versa and also you can highlight the cursor like maybe you are a teacher and you want to highlight the cursor you can obviously do that and after each recording you can also trim the video and remove the noise and adjust volume i will show you how you can do all of this and if you are a youtuber you can directly upload to youtube and the video format for the free version is limited to wmv and for the pro version you can save it into mp4 but i think that wmv is perfectly all right and the recording quality you can see it is up to 760p for the free version and 180p for the paid version but I think that the free version 760p for class recording and meeting recording, I think it would be perfectly all right. So, and you won't get this kind of option, like you cannot record your webcam. So if you need like a webcam view also, then you cannot do it with this software. But at the end of my video, I will show, recommend you another software if you need this kind of advanced features, okay? Okay, and that software is also free. So now here, i have showed you all the necessary things now let's get it downloaded okay so just click on here get free version and now here you need to here give your email and here you can see thanks for downloading freecam so the freecam client will be downloaded okay this is a pretty lightweight system so you can see it is around only 22 mb so just i don't need it here because i have already downloaded it so just let me show you okay so this is the free cam that i was talking you about this is the interface of the software so this is pretty simple so here you can see your recent recordings okay the, it would be in the right side and you can create new recordings in the left side you can see create new recording so if you just click on this option here you can see this box okay so now you need to here you can like select full screen this is not obviously full screen so just click on this option and then click on full screen so you can see that now it is in the completely full screen and obviously they have provided some other options like select application you can specifically select other application but that option did not work for me so i would recommend you to stick to full screen or select any specific area like if you need just only a specific area to record and then here you can see the microphone is also toggling that means that my microphone is detected by the system and you can also mute the microphone here so that your mic would, would not detect any sound or anything 
so then just let me unmute it for the video purpose and here also you can see the settings option so in the settings option you can see like in the advanced tab here you can see that you can obviously select show mouse cursor and you can also select the highlight mouse cursor if you select that then the mouse cursor would be highlighted and then just let me go to the general option here you can see you can also select some shortcut for pause or recording or discarding and here you can see that i have selected both microphone and record system sounds so if you are like a teacher who want to record their microphone their record through their microphone as well as system sound then you should tick the both option and if you don't want to use your microphone only the system sound then you can do that just select the system sound or vice versa so i have selected both of these okay and you can also like check your microphone if your microphone is working then the volume would go up and down when you speak so that should indicate that it is working perfectly and then click on ok after selecting everything then it is pretty simple just click on this red icon okay and now you can see that a countdown has started and now our system is started to recording so now the audio you are listening is coming through the microphone section okay like the microphone of my device and let me just play a sound okay so let's play this sound so the sound you are currently listening is coming through my system sound so it is picking up the system sound as well as the microphone okay so just let me pause it and now let's see that if it achieve both of this okay so it, the shortcut is escape by default so if i just press on escape then it would stop recording or you can go to this arrow icon and then here is the option here is the icon in the system tray just click right click on here and then here click on done okay so then you can see the video is here so let's play it i would be silent for a moment and i will let you judge okay you can also see the video quality here the countdown has started and now our system is started to recording so now the home section play a sound okay so let's play this sound. so the sound you are currently listening is coming now let's see that if it so let's pause it and you can uh, now if you just click on save as video the video would be saved and there are some really pretty advanced features like if you just click on edit here you can edit the video so like if you want to cut any specific portion of your recording like maybe you don't need this option then you can just select it and then here you can just click on delete and that portion would be deleted and like if you want to remove noise like maybe your mic picked up some noise static noise that you want to remove then that portion you can just select like this okay and then here you can here select noise remove okay and now just remember that if you are doing the noise removal then you need to stay silent for a couple of seconds for the, the software to understand that what is the noise and select that silent part so that the software can understand the noise and then just if you just click on remove noise then it will remove the noise so i did not stay silent so i will not remove it and then you can just if you are happy with it then click on save and close you actually don't need to do it if you don't feel the need and then just click on save as video and now select the location where you want to save it let's for example we have selected desktop and click on save and now the video is exporting so after don't cancel it out okay just wait for it to export and then the video would be saved in your soft in your pc and you can share it by uploading to google drive or youtube whatever you prefer so that was the easy part so this is how you can record your zoom meeting or your google meeting okay google classroom or google meet meetings so and any types of screen recording if you need all right and another advanced software is also available which is called obs obs just let me show you it for a little bit obs studio i would also provide the link in the description of this below this is also a completely free version okay this is a completely free software it has been used for many types of advanced users for streaming or screen recording whatever you need 
so if you feel like that you are uh, you can handle a little bit difficulty but you want to get the best quality and everything then you might check you, you might want to check this out so here at first you need to add a scene and then here from the sources option you need to here click on here you can see all the available options you need to select here display capture for your display to capture so i have already added it so you can see the mirroring window and then here you can see two of the options like audio desktop audio and another is mic so if you want your mic to work then you can just select this option and then also you can adjust the volume of your microphone or say desktop audio however the sound you want and then you can also go to settings and in settings you can like here go to videos also select the resolution up to whatever you prefer up to whatever your display actually supports so there is no restriction here and also the output quality would be super great you can here select like like here lossless quality but i would not recommend this lossless or indistinguishable quality because that would be that would hog up your hard disk memory okay so here you can just click on start recording and when you are done you can just click on stop recording and also you can here as well use shortcuts in the settings option in the hotkeys option so that was that's it that was the video on how you can record your pc screen your google meet class classes or meetings and also your zoom meetings and everything freely completely freely i have showed you the free options so if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you have any question or any suggestion then let me know that in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one so i'm mesh from tech mesh and i am signing out Thank <laughs> you.